Yeah, the doctor was like, Honestly. his head is too small. Okay, now I gotta watch it and play as it frame by frame. As soon as you give frame. politicians power, any kind of power that didn't exist previously, if they can figure out a way to force you into carrying something that lets you enter businesses or lets you do this or lets businesses open, historically, they are not going to give that power up. They find. I love this take, man. Like, except it's not even fucking true. Like, like I get being skeptical of the government. I get being skeptical of politicians. Politicians are fucking dog shit. All this stuff. Totally on board with all that. Totally agree. These are all understandable. Uh, these are understandable fucking positions to take. But like this notion that like, um, this, you have to look at what politicians are doing, how popular said policies are, what the outcomes are of said policies. Okay. And the the. The reality is like, you can argue this way about every law. Every law is inherently authoritarian, especially if you're like a, an anarchist or a libertarian. Every single law is technically authoritarian and technically stopping you from doing something that you may want to do. Okay. If you want to do murders, well, there's laws in the books that are excluding you from doing such a thing. Because if you do end up doing a murder, you will go to jail. You will suffer, um, a, a punishment for it, okay? But no one makes the argument that, like, anti-murder laws, okay, manslaughter and, and uh, murder laws are unconstitutional or a form of oppression because we understand that that is a reasonable form of oppression. That's a reasonable fucking authoritarian measure. And the thing that really frustrates me about libertarians like Joe Rogan <clears throat> is that they have this flat fucking take this flat logic on all laws that they don't actually apply to every law you're applying it specifically to mask mandates and you're saying that the mask mandates individually are bad okay but then they make it seem as though this is like a universal rule i mean yeah it's universal but you just don't like the mask mandates you don't have to turn this into like a like a larger moral conversation about uh, laws or the Leviathan, like what the fuck? The government is tyrannical and oppressive inherently. You don't make that argument about driving, uh, driver's licenses, right? Well, some libertarians do, but most like Joe Rogan probably doesn't have that point of view. Uh, I don't know what his point of view is on seat belts, but you know, or drunk driving laws, but you know, those are inherently oppressive to those who want to drink and drive, right? That is the reality. Those are all oppressive inherently. That's just how rules and regulations work. But ultimately, um, some of these laws in the books, there aren't even laws, but these like mandates or whatnot, were done as public health measures. And guess what? Not only were they done as public health measures, but they weren't super popular they were successful but they weren't super popular and we know that everybody immediately reopened businesses and relaxed the uh, the 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 masking and social distancing measures that they had put in place the moment cases started going down so this fear that joe rogan is whipping up is a senseless one and i talked about this extensively yesterday when i was covering the hog watch with all these fucking uh, weirdos in, in Staten Island going to the fucking mall. Like, it is demonstrably false that um, people are going to continue mask mandates and shit like that or, or uh, follow through on it or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? It's just not true. It's just not true. And most normal people that aren't extremely online or always covering this stuff. And this includes this community and myself as well. They don't care when I'm not on stream and I'm not talking about this stuff and I go outside. Okay. In the real world. And someone tells me to wear a fucking mask or whatever. I don't wear it outside, but when I'm walking into a business, I put it on. This is how most people are. Like most people just don't care. They're just like, all right, yeah, I'll put it on. 
if you're in a blue state where people are still doing mask wearing indoors, you put it on for the duration of your indoor activity. Oftentimes, the hilarious part about it is, of course, you put it on, you go to the restaurant, but there's no social distancing. So then the moment you sit down at the table, you take it off. Okay. Well, that kind of defeats the purpose, but whatever. Right? Congratulations, Carhartt Cadaver, for getting a job. Now you can fucking subscribe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jokes. So. So it's like a super silly thing that only like weirdo fucking Republicans and people that constantly. Only weirdo Republicans and, like, people that constantly fucking talk about this back and forth that I care about. If you're in a red state, nobody's fucking wearing a mask. Who gives a shit, right? Except Republicans do give a shit on top of that, re regardless of, like, never really encountering a situation where they don't have fucking, uh, to even wear a mask. Huh. <sighs> But let's continue. And if you're having this argument about vaccine mandates, well, they also exist. That is a form of authoritarian control that is reasonable and good. The government forces you to protect yourself even when you don't. That is what a government does. That's what a nanny state does. That's what it's supposed to do. You are too stupid to handle a problem. So the government is going to handle it for you. That's what we do. Okay. We're too dumb. You would never be able to figure out how to clean your own water supply. So the government has, unfortunately, you know, they don't stick to this too much, but the government has methods of doing such a thing. Okay. We cannot survive on our own, no matter how much these like shit hits the fan. Uh, Y2K Andes believe that they can. Yeah, Joe Rogan also literally understands this, the need for regulations, because he has, in the, in the past, defended building regulations to libertarian Dave Rubin. And new reasons to use. I'll do that. We have to protect those freedoms at all costs, whether you agree with people's choices or not, because it is the foundation that this country was founded on. Freedom. This idea of freedom... There's so many people that think it's frivolous, it's not important, it's not the main thing that we should be focused on, but it is the- I love the, the freedom argument, because this, this scene makes it so funny. I don't know if they did that intentionally or not, but like, but like, it's literally a fucking snapshot of texting while driving. Like, why did they put that in there? It's all freedom, baby. No, that car is moving. Someone said texting while driving. That we should be. No, both of those cars are moving. That we should. Both of those cars are in transit. I like that the first texting and driving guy is doing it with one hand, and then the second one is just like just dual wielding it. You know. It's self-driving? Motherfucker, at most, that has a VTEC, okay? That's it. That's a Honda. There's no self-driving on that thing, okay? That's like a 97 Civic, dude. You kidding me? Pretty sure it's the same guy? Oh, yeah, it is the same guy. We should be... Anyway. So like I said, this notion, this like, <clears throat> this fucking like, uh, you know, I'm an advocate for freedom bullshit is, is really stupid. No, that, that's not how that works. 
That's literally not how that works. The government always has historically, it's since its inception, since societal formations started occurring, and we started building what we know as our current civilization, we have always had a form of governance that uh, includes some kind of regulation, some kind of rules. Because in a group of 100 individuals, you're going to have 100 unique perspectives. But we all have to get along somehow. That's just how all fucking laws work. Jesus Christ. Focused on, but it is the literal structure that allows this country to be so fucking amazing. Every single country that's ever existed other than the United States, up until 1776, every fucking country that has ever existed was run by dictators. All of them. This is what? Every country that's ever existed since the United States was run by dictators until 1776? Wait, what? Bro, what about, okay, what about America? Like, I don't get it. How were we not like originally dictators? Like, I don't understand. Also, we literally weren't even the first democracy. Like, that's just straight up. Like, I mean, this is like the most ahistorical fucking take, dude. We literally didn't even, we did not invent democracy. And I would go so far as to say that we've never even captured the very essence of a democratic process. Like, not even to this day. So what the fuck is he going on about, dude? Yeah, there are republics in antiquity, obviously. Ancient Greece, Roman Republic, Athens. In the Middle Ages, we have uh, different formations that were also republics. Uh, the old Swiss Confederacy. Like, the amount of fucking... Like we, there are, there are literally more democratic formations that have been around. Um, there, are, there are more democratic formations that like have existed and, and continue to exist even to this fucking day than our current version. Like we don't even implement a true democratic process to this fucking day, dude. The native tribes that did democracy too. We're not even the first in America. <sighs> there's, I think he's saying there's never been a dictator in America since 1776. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? You think Joe Rogan would not consider Abraham Lincoln a fucking dictator if he was living in Texas? What the fuck would you call... What, what would you call Abe Lincoln? We have the benefit of being, uh, you know, post-Civil War. So it doesn't really matter. But he didn't even say that. And even then, dude, it's all a matter of perspective. George Washington, if he's not... If vaccine mandates are dictatorial then George Washington is a fucking dictator. And George Washington was a dictator, by the way. Like, I'm sorry, but uh, he did fucking have slaves, okay? Japanese Americans would consider FDR to be a dictator. This is the first experiment in self-government that actually worked, and it created the greatest superpower the world's ever known. It created the greatest cultural machine, the greatest machine of art and creativity and innovation. I don't know, man. 
we always say like America's the greatest superpower the world has ever known and shit like that. But we barely made it to like, you know, we, we're not going to crack 300. I don't think. Washington was anything but a dictator. Owning slaves doesn't make you a dictator. Yeah, it makes you worse than a dictator. It makes you a fucking slave owner. What the fuck? I mean, the world won't crack 300. Wouldn't a dictator technically own his population for his service? Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. The world is far over 300 at this point. Do you guys think I'm talking about the world as 300 years old? Is that what you think I meant? I meant the United States of America, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, it, it's the most American... <clears throat> It's the most American thing to be like, oh, you're talking about the history of America, which is the history of the entire world. The reason why I say that is because it's like the world's most powerful fucking empire is not necessarily true. Also, like... Whenever people say, well, George Washington didn't become a monarch and he stepped down from that and, and wanted the country to be run, by who, motherfucker? White land-owning slave owners, okay? That's who. This entire system was designed to only allow white male landowners to fucking uh, operate, dude. Look at our Senate. <laughs> like... At the time, black people weren't even seen as uh, human, so there's that. Women got no say in the process either. It's just wild. To, to, this is like a wildly ahistorical take. We had to take Excuse me, be flexing. Well, let me finish this Joe Rogan thing one more, and then we'll get to it. Right fucking here. And how did it do that? It did it through freedom. And as soon as you see something, anything that comes along and inhibits your freedom, you should be very cautious of that thing. You should be very suspicious. Because anything that comes along that can inhibit your freedom is, by definition, anti-American. Yeah. Exactly. Like, seatbelt laws, driver licenses, driver's licenses, drunk driving laws, building codes, just anything. Anything. That's what he said. Anything. Well, that's the most idiotic fucking take on the planet. So, you know, good luck. I love that, by the way, because, like, he's showing images, right, of, like, police brutalizing protesters and shit. And, like, that's America. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's literally America. <clears throat> we do that. That image that you're invoking is the image of a slave owner carved to the side of a fucking holy site that once belonged to a people that we genocided. Like, the fuck you mean, dude? <laughs> also built by... Uh, people are going to get mad at me. Uh, maybe slaves or maybe not. Who knows? Okay. I, I don't, I don't know. I thought the pyramids were built by slaves. People get mad. They say, well, actually it's, that's it, not true. Um, it was aliens actually. Oh, okay.
Yeah. America has the highest percentage of incar incarcerated peoples in the entire world. Like, more than fucking... More than China, okay? I don't know what the numbers are in North Korea, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's more than North Korea, too. Not to say that, like, North Korea is more free than we are, or to say the same exact thing about China, even. Like, uh, China still has uh, very authoritarian measures with respect to... Um, you know, free speech restrictions, things like that, obviously. Uh, I choose to live here instead of living in China, so there you go. But having said that, America, especially if you're fucking poor, holy shit, dude. GG's, I mean. We are doing well when our bar is North Korea or China. Well, we're not even beating them, so there is that. You could very well argue that most American prisoners have more rights and a better standard of living than most people in North Korea. Yeah, you could argue that if you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. If you're a fucking idiot who's literally never seen a prison. Yeah. I mean, it's free to be a fucking dumbass in the chat and make, like, dumbass arguments. <laughs> 